Next question is from Once Upon a Picture. How do you mitigate your digestive system acting up when bulking? You know, this is my limiting mm. factor always. Yeah. My, for me, because, because my uh, my gut is just so sensitive and just gets on my nerves, this is always my limiting factor when it comes to putting on muscle. I can push it a little bit, and then my gut acts up and I have to kind of back off. Now, the way that I've managed it is- You just came off of that recently, right? Yeah. Right? Because you, yeah. you were starting to put some good size on, and the, what made you come back the other way was exactly I, that, My right? gut. It's always my gut, right? So what I, what I ha what, now, here's how I kind of work with it a little bit. I have to completely stay away from foods that bother my digestion, even in the slightest, especially when my calories go up. So like, I'll give you an example. Normally, under normal circumstances, I can handle potatoes. They don't bother me. If I'm bulking, I got to cut potatoes out because they start to bother me. Um, I can handle rice, but not a ton of rice. I can handle a lot of fats and a lot of proteins, and that's pretty much it. Anything beyond that, and it starts to really bother me. Now, it's really hard to bulk with that limited you know, kind of choices that I have. So that's always my limiting factor. So I would say that number one thing, and even people without gut issues, what you'll find is they'll say things like, oh, I feel so bloated. I can't eat any more food. Um, I feel so stuffed. Avoid foods that, that bother your digestion. So mm -hmm. that means you're probably not going to be able to eat as much junk food. You're probably going to have to avoid things like yeah. gluten and dairy. Some people need to avoid uh, legumes. Stick with the very easily digestible yeah. food. You'll be able to consume more of it and assimilate more figure, of it. Yeah, figure out what those easily digestible carbohydrates are specifically too because that's one of those that uh, like with rice or something like that that's a little easier on my stomach. Like, it, And I know like, um, was it the the guy's name that's like Rhino or whatever? He yeah, does yeah. The Stan Mash. Efferding. Stan Efferding. Uh, I love that though. I love to add like the, the bone broth in there and then, you know, if I could put some ground meat in yeah. there and like have that all in one sitting, it's, you know, beef up the calorie amount a bit, but uh, it's something that's going to sit in my stomach and not just tear me up. So I actually, this is where I love to use either a, fa a day of fasting or just like a really low calorie day too. Mm -hmm. So like if I've been like increasing calories, increasing calories, inc increasing calories, starting to notice like inflammation or whatever, or my digestive system starting to bother me, then running a fast the next day or just, uh, you know, a series of two or three days that are really low cal, like 500 to 1,000 calories, which is kind of like mimicking similar to a fast, mm -hmm. doing that for two or three days, resetting and then going back to the bulk again. I find a lot of value in that also, but you definitely want to start to find out uh, what foods are offending you for sure. Cause that it could be just simply that it could be simply your, whatever it is you're bulking with, there could be something in there that is your, your body is definitely going, no, I don't want that much of that. Yeah. Gone are the days for me of where I could just bulk, just you eat know. whatever. Oh, I mean, there was, there was a period there, like, you know, my, my teens and twenties where I was just like, I could just eat more and more and put on more weight. And now my body goes, no, you, not only are you not going to put on weight, you're going to lose weight because- Well, and gonna... the truth is that's what got us here. I yeah. mean, that's the reason why all those things do bother us is because we used to, and that's what I think it's so hard, right? To get a 20 year old kid, yeah. you know, to listen to this mm -hmm. right now. Yeah, they're, but, they're bulletproof right now. Yeah, but that's, I mean, the reason why we have to fucking eliminate all this stuff now is because we bulked with everything and yeah. so aggressively when we were younger and now you're extra sensitive to all that stuff.